Just doing a technical save the now. Grab a coffee, guys. Hi. Good morning, Karen. Just in the technical side in the background. Hi, Christina. Good morning. How are you all? Just trying to find my video. These things are good when they work. Right, come on. Hi, Anne. Well, that's good, Karen, hun. That's good. I'm just trying to find this live video. On my laptop. There's a bit of... A little bit of a... Lagginess. Right, let's see. I might need to go into events. Possibly. Nope. Hi, Jean. Missing you, my lovely. Let's see if I'm live in the event. See if I can find it in there. Morning, Anne. Right, where's my video? Dun, ba, dun, bum. Let's see. Ah, oh, you're welcome, Christina. Here we go, I've found it. I have found it. Let's see if the comments are working today. Hi, Donna. How are you, my lovely? Well, thanks, Karen. Yep, I can see comments. Great, great, great. Has everybody got a coffee? <laughs> this was my take on the fabby little kit that um, our Highland, that our friend Natalie and our team sent out. Emma made an acid take card. So thank you for that, Natalie, because you inspired me to change it up a little bit. So we're going to make a similar card today. Good morning. Yeah, I'm fine. Morning, Tammy. Morning, morning, morning. Can I just quickly share a bit of Happy Meal? Look at that. This was from the lovely... Hi, Heather. This is from the lovely Janice Thompson at Jazzle Dazzle Crafts. And she um, die cut all these letters for my several elite promotion. So that was a lovely surprise. Thank you, Janice. Um, and she just said, I'm so pleased for you. Congratulations. You deserve this so much. Yay, happy meal. It's very pretty. It's very silver. Woo so I thought I'd share that quickly. Right. Oh, did you watch her make that? I've not, um, I've not had a chance to look at anybody's um, YouTube channels and well, it seems like ages. I just seem alone and at home all the time. Um, I seem to be running out of um, time to do stuff. <laughs> Brilliant. I can see all your comments. Right, well, we'll make the card. So I'm using my new bundle, which is the So Sentimental Bundle. Okay, so there's lots of lovely sentiments in here. And the two stamps I'm going to use are Sending Healing Hugs and then one that says For You. So this script's quite um, similar to the um, the Gangs All Mere celebration one. Um, but I do love it. And I thought it was very fitting given this time. Um, oh, thank you. I'm just going to bring my mouse down. Yeah, it's definitely the kids being home. Definitely. Did you see the shortbread we made? <laughs> you should have seen my oldest Mackenzie made it. Right, so I'll just quickly show you the... Um, for the layered die section, 
This is a coordinating stitch, so sweetly dies. So I used the largest of the two. And it was actually you, Karen, you had used this um, set when you were doing your own take on um, Natalie's card. So I thought, perfect, I love it. So I've used that in my card. I'm going to use it today again. The shortbread was awesome and it didn't last long at all. It didn't last long at all. Right, so I did put the measurements up, right? But let me explain. Let me pop them out of the way. What we need is, and if anybody wants to buy this little kit, um, it's £5 and that includes postage. So your card base, there's lots of layers and things, little bitties. So we have a bit of Whisper White that is four and one eighth of an inch wide and it is six and seven eighths long and I scored it at five and seven eighths. Okay, and then we fold that over and that's the top of the card. For the bottom, we need one at the same width and the same size as this top section. So this is four and one eighth of an inch by one. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we're going to add the acetate. Now this is the full size of the card, so it is also four eighths of an inch by five and seven eighths. So we need tear and tape. Um, and what we do, we attach the acetate on the top of the card on top of this section. This bit, however, is attached underneath. Okay, and then we're going to layer up so you don't see the sticky tape. So I'm just going to add the bottom piece first. It's quite hard to see the acetate on screen. Let me move it out the way of that light. It's a bit annoying. Right, what's everyone seeing? Oh, hi, Mel. Hi, Karen. How are you doing? Karen, um, Karen's one of our NHS nurses, ladies, who's um, not long went back to work, so I'm just going to give you a wee clap, honey, because you're working so hard. You're working so hard. Right, so, what we need to do is just peel off your double-sided tape. You'll see I managed to, to gel my nails the other morning, which is awesome. Right, so we need to add this to the bottom of the acetate. So I am just going to add it on there the best I can. Okay, so that's on the top. So we flip it over so it's on the bottom like that. And then we're going to add the acetate onto the main card. Okay, so I'm going to add, I'm running out of this tearing tape. Oh, look at all the hand clapping for Karen. Oh, I know. I um, I phoned my doctor yesterday because I, I thought I've got an appointment soon and it's next week. So I phoned and they said they're cancelling all appointments, which I totally understand. Hi, Karen Tilly. Um, but she said I'll get the doctor to phone you and he called me. Um, so I've got my repeat prescriptions and whatnot ordered. Um, he said that our next appointment. In four weeks, we'll maybe need to be via video call. And I thought, wow, everyone really is having to change the way they work. Right, I'm just going to attach this one quickly. Anyway, he had said um, that it's going to get a lot worse here in Fife. So that wasn't... Hi, Kirsten. Hi, Jackie. That um, wasn't what I was wanting to hear. But um, all the doctors and what have you are working so hard. Right, so can you see what I've done there? The acetate goes on the top here, and this tab section goes underneath. So, what we need to do now is add some layers. So, these are the exact same size, one inch by four and one eighth. So, that would go there, and that would go there. Can you see that all right? Anyway, let me see now somebody's um, having problems. Hang on a second, just... Need to invite someone. Hang on a wee second. Invite one of the ladies from class. Right, let me let me invite you, Anne. 
Perfect. That's you invited. Right. Let me get this message away. That's it. Right. So my um. Oh, my videos. My videos stop working on my laptop. Right. Okay. We're back on. We're back on. Right. So hang on. I just need to mute this um thing. The now. Yeah, I got your card as well, um, Elaine. I done a little video um, showcasing all the lovely Happy Meal. Right, so what was I saying? We've got two little um, card layers that will go on the top and the bottom. We have a couple of pieces of DSP, which is four and one eighth by three quarters. That's for the top and the bottom, like so. I put all the measurements in the um, discussion post um for you all to see afterwards but if you do buy the little mini kit i will put a pdf in there for you so i'm just going to attach these as well now i am going to use the tearing tape again to pop these ones on because the cardstock would skate about on the acetate and i don't want that so we'll get the two little layers now these are the window sheets from Stampin' Up, they're awesome. But you can recycle any plastic or acetate that you have, maybe lying about the house and stuff. Oh right, hang on, I'm going to add, I need to add Karen Egan, she can't find me. Right, sent, two seconds folks, sent a link. Right, awesome. Right, there's always a few um, people that can't seem to find it. I think next week I'll maybe, um, I will maybe do it on the main page and that way people can find it easier. So, um, there you are. Hi Karen. <laughs> you found me, you found me. So what's everybody been up to? Oh, that's all right, Karen Han. You're welcome. Right, I'm just going to add these little one-inch layers onto the top and the bottom. So we're recreating, for those that have just joined, hi Cheryl, honey. Um, we're doing this, but we're using Night of Navy. And a little bit of the Come Sail Away DSP. I just love these colours. Night of, Night of Navy is one of my favourites. <laughs> Carrie Negan's technically challenged. Yeah, hey, I tell you, you're, you're doing... Um, <coughs> you're getting better. <laughs> Crafting, working and decorating. <gasps> I've been working from home. Which is fine, but with the kids about, it's somewhat difficult at times. Right, I'm going to add the little DSP layers on the top now, and I'm just going to use wet glue. Because it's just going on the cardstock now, rather than acetate. Right, so, my tummy is rumbling. Something awful here. And there we go. There's the top one on. Oh, you've been cleaning out the guinea pigs. Oh, good. You're going to do a virtual workshop. That's awesome. I hope your customers um, take full advantage because they'll be missing getting out to your actual face-to-face -face ones. You've been crafting too, Jackie. That's awesome. Jackie is from Australia. Jackie always comes on for a chat, don't you, Han? Um, I, Jean, I sent um, Anne a, an invite. I sent her an invite. Um, I don't know if someone can maybe try and tag Janie, maybe tag her in it in this um, chat. She'll maybe find it that way, Han. Right, so right, so we've added the top and bottom layers, so you can see how 
easier it is to make a um, acetate front card. Okay, now if you've got these um, dies, that's what we're using. So I've already pre-cut the larger one in Knight of Navy and then the one that inserts in here like that in Whisper White. And we're going to place it in the inside of the card. Okay, but what I want to do is I want to stamp this first. So, the dreaded Knight of Navy, I usually always get that all over my hands. Always, always. Right, so I'm just adding. I'm going to add this sentiment. I need to stand up to do it. And I hope that I do it straight. If not, you can just flip it over and try again. Well, that's not bad. Sending healing hugs. That's fabulous. Right, so I've just got my wee chamois here. I'll just give that a wee clean. Handy, handy. Right, so I'm going to pop some wet glue on here. And I'm going to place it what I think is in the middle. Okay, so... I pop that. Yeah, does that look straight? Well, that was alright for a first shot. Right, let me see. I am going to sh have to share. Hang on, I'm just going to share this video um, in, a, in the group. Two seconds, folks. Just trying to find. Um, da -da -da -da. Right, group name Thornton Craft Class Crazies. <laughs> it's ladies, it's not crazies, I promise. Oh, you're here, Anne, that's brilliant. You're here, my lovely. Right, I can cancel that invite out. Perfect. Right, so, what's everybody saying? Yeah, it's dead central. That was lucky for the first time, wasn't it? <laughs> Both that and that. Right. And it's a really easy card. If you're rec recreating it, you could always um, fancy it up however you wish. But it's just really to give you the, um, the B6 kind of thing. Isn't that gorgeous? And then obviously we don't want to be really writing in here. So we have a little section that I'm going to put in the back. Now what I've done is I've got a little two and a half by three inch square. I'm just going to pop that on the back. Like so. And then what I've done was I've got a little square that is an eighth of an inch smaller. And I just stamped in the corner. Um, oh definitely Karen. <laughs> Karen. Karen's a 3D queen. Of crafting, and anytime anyone says cards, I think she flinches somewhat. <laughs> I've just part stamped um, a little Magnolia Lane um, Magnolia, so that is just going to go on there. But I want to stamp um, the little for you sentiment first. So basically, it says sending healing hugs and then for you. So I'm just going to do that. Ta da! That's slightly off, but I think it looks okay. So let me see if I have, do I have Knight of Navy? I've got a Knight of Navy blend, so what I'm going to do is, just to match it in, I'm just going to add, is this Knight of Navy? Yes it is. I'm just going to add, like I did in my other card, three little dots. Just because I want to. <laughs> Your card making brings you out in the sweat, you're funny. <laughs> right, I'm just going to give that a second to dry because that's a really juicy ink pad. It's probably the most juicy one out of them all, even though it's uh, one of the oldest ones that I have. Right, let's pop some glue on. And then we're going to add some fussy cut images to the front as well. That's the bit that takes takes a little bit of time. So that's the back. 
Okay, now the um, stamp that I'm using is from Good Morning Magnolia and it's this little one here. Um, you could use any flower image that you have though. And we're finished with this ink so I'm going to put it away before I have an accident. So I've got three stamped ones here. So while I'm fussy cutting these out I'll, I'm able to see your comments and stuff. So let's move that glue the now. Oh, thanks, ladies. I meant to actually post this picture in our in Team Scrimpy group um, to show Natalie what I'd done with her wee card kit, but I forgot, so I'll need to do that. All right, so. Hang on, I've got a message jumping up here. On my laptop screen. I don't know how to turn the notifications off when it's on my my laptop. So is I was going to see what plans do you have for this afternoon, everyone? But I suppose it's pretty much much. Um, are you going to sit in the kitchen? Are you going to sit in the the garden? I might go out to the summer house later. Seems quite. Um, Quite a bit warmer than it was yesterday. So that's um, that's good. Because Scotland was really, really windy at the beginning of the week. It was horrible. It was too windy to even put um, washing out to dry. You know that wind where you're trying to hang it up and if it was to catch, catch your clothes were to ping in your eye, take your eyeball out. That's how windy it was. So um, there's a couple of my team ladies on here watching and we had a little test with Zoom for um, future team meetings, little team lives. So um, that worked out okay after I actually remembered that it was on because <laughs> I set a reminder to um, start the video call at seven and then I forgot. So the ladies were messaging me and I'm like, oh, damn it. It's like, give me a minute, give me a minute. That was bad. My memory is awful. Is it cold in Blackpool? I bet. Right at the seafront, aren't you? Yeah, I'll watch my fingers. <laughs> so this is, um, I find this quite relaxing, actually. We're going to have to get, well, not me, but my husband. He doesn't know it yet, but he's going to have to go and get some shopping. Um, because, well, this, how long, are we on week three now with this, um, week three of the kind of lockdown, I think we are, aren't we? And we've not had to go and get a big shop, so my husband's going to have to go today, but that's fine. I only need to pop out to drop off some customer orders. Are you, I was going to say, are you in all day, Jane? But you most likely are. <laughs> you made six cards yesterday, that's awesome. Right, what was, what's everyone saying? I could still see comments, so that's good, because it wasn't working the last time. Hi, Susan. Sorry, honey, I didn't realise you were here, pal. So this, by far, is the bit that takes the longest. Um. Now, the, the other card I made that I showed you at the start there, that's actually scheduled to on my YouTube channel for um, tomorrow night, actually. Um, so if anybody wants to see how I made that one, which is just similar to this, feel free to pop over to my YouTube channel. You know the name, Smith's Craft Creations. Right, colour makes a difference. What colour is the ink pad? This is the um, Night of Navy Hun. Oh, you're going to sit in the garden with some cava. I actually had some um, rosy wine last night, it was nice. And then um, we were having a right giggle with the kids. My husband was trying to do this TikTok challenge thing 
where you kind of dance going up the stairs. Oh my God, it was so funny. I literally about peed my pants watching them. <laughs> right, so it's fussy cut and done. Now what I want to do first is I want to pop um, one of them inside. Okay, and then I'm going to kind of like overlap it on the front. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I'm just going to move that round a little bit. So that's like that on the inside. And then basically I'm just going to stick this in the same position over the front. Like so. Yep, but let's go with that. I just need to go in the bottom half. So I just need to lift this a little bit. Oh, bless you, Tammy. Bless ya. Right. I'm just going to hold it for a wee second because it's... It's off his skatey. There we go. I bet Karen Egan's thinking, what the hell does skatey mean? <laughs> means it's moving about. It's moving about with the, because of the um, wet glue. Right, adding the other one on there. And that is the card. Done. I didn't use any embellishments or anything because I thought, whoops, I don't like that when the camera, the the light shines on the, the acetate like that. Yeah, I didn't use any Wink of Stella. I didn't use any um, rhinestones or anything. Thank you, ladies. So you can see how it's really easy. I've not made an acetate card like that in ages. And then we've got the bit on the back. But you can layer up as much as you like. You could put DSP in the background there or anything. Let's see. Oh, thank you. That's only been um, half an hour. That's quite a quick, quite a quick card. Ta -da! So if you haven't got this bundle, it is so worth it. This stamp's really, really nice. This one. And I'll show you. Isn't that pretty? So that could be for a wedding, birthday, anything really. Yeah, if anybody's doing it with their own stamping up stuff at home, um, yeah, share on the discussion post um, on the event thread. That would be amazing if you could share. I think there was about eight people who shared the projects with me and it was so lovely to see. Um, so thank you so much for that. Yeah, the flowers do make it, definitely. Um, so I might make a few of these. Make make a few of these, but um, I don't think I have any time to craft today because I need to catch up on some of my blogs that I realised I haven't typed up yet. I'll just show you. That was a little paper piecing one from today. It was um. Just a nice little simple one using under my umbrella. Jean, you've got this one. Um, so that was gorgeous. So yeah, well that is all everybody. I want to thank you all for coming on. Do share your projects with me. If there's anyone wanting one um, posted out, give me a wee message. Um, and yeah. Okay, so next week, I'm not sure what to do yet. If you, I don't know if you guys have any ideas. Yes, Kirsten, if you switch these out, it could be for a man, for sure. Definitely. Thank you so much, everyone. If you've got any recommendations for what to make next week, just put me a little message and I'll go with the majority, okay? Right, I'm going to end it there now. I want to um, move my phone so I can finish the video. Um, that, Tammy, that is the, um, the full... Um, bundle but you can use the beginner one that would be quite a good size for on the card as well 
That's a little photopolymer one. So yeah, I was going to actually use the um, the thoughtful blooms, but because it's celebration and it's over now, I thought better not. Okay, ladies, I'll go just now. Thank you so much, and it was lovely to chat to you. Take care.